Welcome everybody, it is Crypto Moose, and we gotta get loose. Mitchell Bouchard, your crypto and NFT investor. So what we're gonna do is talk about Cardano's best projects. So I've got five, and we might even get into some other ones, and the goal of this video is just to give you some thoughts on some projects. Maybe you're looking to dive into the Cardano ecosystem, and you don't know um, what else is out there. So I want to talk about some of the key projects that are innovative, and some are, you know, meme tokens, some are um, just, you know, for decentralized storage. So we're going to get into that. So before we get started, like, comment, and subscribe. That's one way to help us out. So based on the information you get from this video, you can comment down below, why didn't you talk about this project? Why didn't you talk about, um, I don't know, whatever, whatever project that is um, about to come out or hasn't been out yet. You guys can ask me whatever you want. Um, ask me why I got a bad haircut. Ask me whatever you want, I don't care. So number one, we're gonna talk about Cardano, just get the momentum going here. So today we are November 5th, 2023. I'm not telling you guys to pick up any of these tokens, um, but these are projects that, um, quite frankly, I do own, uh, I own all of them. Yeah, I have a bit of all of these. So these are five that I like. And right now Cardano is at about 34, 35 cents. So if we go on CoinGecko, we can see here, um, but a bum, yeah. You know, we're, we're nearing 35 cents again. Uh, so we hit it at one point last night right here. I thought we did. Anyways, maybe, maybe we didn't, but we're close to 35 cents. So what are, the, what are some of the projects that are full of potential? What are some low caps that, you know, could potentially allow you to get massive gains? And number one we're going to talk about is Iagon. Okay, so it's IAG. We're going to go here. I don't know why they have to have so many ads on my screen, but just the way it is, I guess. So this is Iagon, six cents. Um, I did a video a long time ago. And in fact, man, I had like 50,000 Iagon. I sold a little bit too early, but that's okay. I, I made a 3x and I was like, I, I want to get out. I thought it would come lower. It didn't. Um, so don't. Don't worry about, you know, I sold too early. Worry about losing it all, right? So I could always get more now, especially I believe more long-term anyways. And ultimately, if you look at the, what is that? You have the fully diluted market cap, 62 mil. I mean, compared to other decentralized storage options, this project can really move. So we're gonna go to Iagon's website. And yeah, it's iagon.com. And what they're doing is they are doing decentralized cloud storage. So you can log in with your account, you can upload files, we'll get into that briefly. Um, they, just, they just got done doing a couple of presentations, I believe, at Cardano Summit. So for some of you that went out to the Cardano Summit, I wasn't there, I was stuck in Canada, which is okay, there's a lot of hockey going on. Um, and I have to, I actually had to work, I had to film events and stuff. So I still have to edit those videos tonight in the shop. Um, but yeah, the decentralized storage space um, is a really good idea. So if you guys want to follow some of my holdings, if you are part of this Crypto Moose community, the idea is I have this public wallet. I use it for a lot of my um, holdings. So just check out what I have. If you guys don't know what I'm into, what I'm interested in, Sometimes this fluctuates, like I had like 4,000 ADA left because I bought like 20 million snack, tried to pump up the market there. Um, basically try to make a little trade, didn't even work out that well. But if you take a look here, all the projects we're gonna talk about are right here. So long story short, that's one way you can follow and you know keep up with my thoughts and you know look at my thoughts and be like, hey, maybe you're wrong on this, which I'm, I'm very often wrong on things too. Okay, um, I'm gonna have to adjust my key light over there. It looks like it's pretty dark here. So what you can do is you can sign into this website and I like Igon, it's very cheap, still at six cents. Um, the market cap, it has a lot of potential, right? It has, it has huge potential. Um, if you look at on the Ethereum side, 
what do you have? Filecoin, FIL. And this project could do extremely well in comparison. So what we're gonna do is we're going to log into a wallet and to give you an idea. So if I go to NAMI, um, it doesn't work if you're connecting your Trezor. So just use a hot wallet that you set up. If you wanna know how to set up a wallet, I'll show you at the end of the video how you can learn. So go to NAMI, sign in here. I'm gonna put in my password. So there we go. And yeah, here I've got um, some files that I uploaded. So what do we even have in here? Hopefully uh, nothing sketchy in here. Uh, Moose's secret files. I think these are just screenshots from my desktop or something. So here you can upload files um, and you can work with data in a decentralized fashion. And Ledger Flow, so if we click over here, this is something new that um, the team of Iagon, they just put out. Um, so this is really cool. So we're not gonna get into that. That's not the idea of the video, but you can imagine that generally speaking, um, when it comes to uh, crypto, it's it's a big deal, right? So even here, I wanted to bring this up with it. Um, this is um, an article on Cardano ADA holders gear up for rumored midnight airdrop. The reason I want to bring that up too is with midnight, um, they are working on a side chain that um, will allow for allow for you to show certain data and to not show certain data. So I forget the name of the word for it, but effectively all these things work together with Cardano. So Cardano, the layer one blockchain, you know, it just works. You got smart contracts. You're gonna have Midnight working in tandem with it. So it's gonna be really cool. You'll see that synergy between, in, in the interoperability between not only all blockchains, but projects within Cardano. And it's creating this ecosystem that not a lot of people can see. I see it. I see it and it's, it, makes, it makes things very exciting. So take out, take out, um, take out a piece of paper, um, get a pen, you know, pen and paper, write down some of these picks if you want. So that's number one, Iagon. Number two, I talk about it all the time. We're gonna go over here. We're gonna see what it shows here. Cornucopias, so that's gonna be Kopi. Uh, Kopi's been doing very well. Uh, I think I put in like, four or 500 bucks, it's at like $2,000 now. So this is going to move. Nothing good has even happened yet. So let's go to the one year, even the max. So when this project came out, it was only really available um, when it first came out on um, Binance, BNB chain. So what I did is I bought, I think it was like 50,000 tokens on BNB for a couple hundred bucks. Then I moved it to um, I used the bridge and I sent it over to Cardano. So long story short, I did well on that. Um, so this project was like a penny on BNB. Now on Cardano, it's three cents. So the thing about Cornucopias is that it is arguably um, the best cryptocurrency token for probably 2024, 2025. Um, and there's a couple of reasons for that. Number one, gaming is massive. It's easy to understand. Kids love it. The, the next generation is going to eat up this game. They have a racing game. It's built in Unreal Engine 5, um, Unreal Engine 5.2, 5.3, whatever they're on now. The team is solid. It looks awesome. When I think about the metaverse, this is what I think about. It's exactly what I think about. Um, I think this project is the one project, again, Kopi, Cornucopia is not telling you to buy it, but this is by far the one project that if you can, if you want to see massive gains, it's going to be with Cornucopias. Um, their NFTs are incredible too. I'm going to show you their website. Um, the, the team is there. They really care. Like they could have rubbed this and made a lot of money. They did not. So shout out to Rob and Josh. You guys are doing a great job. If you guys want to learn more, watch their Kopi cafes. So again, on my screen, it's showing a little funky. Um, it does look a lot better in person. So I'm just displaying this on my iMac. But look at the bubble jets. Look at the assets. So 
if we go here to, I think it's about game. Yeah, yeah, there we go. So we got the roadmap. Like, look at what they're building and look what they have already accomplished. These guys are doing it well. If you're going to invest into a metaverse gaming project, research cornucopias. Again, not telling you to get it, but look at this, man. Look what they have in store. So 2023 Q4 um, NFT sale, flying uh, vehicle lighting kit. I don't think they're going to be doing any more NFT sales. I think people got a little fed up with that. But you're going to have vehicle staking soon. That would be cool. What's that all about? Theme zone. So I have like 15 bubble jets. If you guys want to know what I'm into, I'm not selling one bubble jet. So I believe these are going to be a thousand eight each. I believe I'm going to make 30 grand just on these NFTs. I'm not even kidding. Um, anyways, you comment down below. The moose is going to get loose on those NFTs. Do you guys own any Kopi? I would like to know. So check out Cornucopias. I've done tons of videos on this project. Look how good it looks and it gets better. This is nothing. Um, they've been playing this game. Um, I think they played it at the uh, in Las Vegas at one of the events there. I was not there. Um, there's just so much happening. So if you're a gamer, um, we've gone over Iagon. That's the um, decentralized storage avenue. That's a token for decentralized storage with Cardano. Kopi, that's going to be gaming slash metaverse. Now, the next one I want to talk about is book. Book token, book.io. Um, a lot of you have heard about this, but guys, books are a big deal. So book... Book is an interesting project. Now, you can buy NFTs that are books. So you have a, you know, you have an asset ID number. It represents a specific book on the Cardano blockchain. And they're also with the, they also have uh, books on Ethereum's blockchain in Matic. So it's very interoperable. So we're going to go to book.io and this project is incredible. Recently, they also have audiobooks. Now, I wasn't a fan of the way the AI sounds, so you can check out that video if you want more info, but you can simply log into your account, so I'll show you. So you can log into your account and you can begin to view your book. You can listen to your audiobook, and it's really cool. Um, I like the idea, this will improve and get better, and fundamentally, when you think about it, books are, a big part of the future in digitizing books, digitizing information, whether it be in the form of audiobooks or printed books like with, with letters or video. I mean, think about what we're doing. The, I'm just presenting information in a more of a visual manner because I'm, I'm not as good at, at reading and writing. So for me, I'm, I'm just visual. How do I uh, take information di uh, visually and present it to you? So. Yeah, that, that's a big part of it. So I've done videos on this. If you want, go to Crypto Moose, check out this video. I did my thoughts and opinions on Alice in Wonderland audiobook, and we have some other ones. So book token, definitely an option there. So if you look at my wallet, this is what it looks like. Make sure you're getting the right token. So if you want to make sure, go here and check out the policy number. So it's 51A5E236. And that's the idea of the blockchain, right? In order for somebody to mint it, if you know it's coming from them, that is the asset ID number, okay? So anyways, that's just another part of it. Next one, guys, <laughs> SNEC. So the next one is a meme token, okay? And SNEC I love for a lot of reasons. Um, and by the way, I've gone through every Cardano project and these are the ones that I like the most. Um, based on logical reason. So we've gone over Iagon, decentralized storage, Kopi, metaverse gaming, book, you would call that, you know, just let's just call it books entertainment. Um, Snack is your meme coin play. And the meme coin space is huge. And if you look at the fully diluted market cap, what is that, 20 million? This can go so much higher. And I know it's a meme coin, but think about this. So you have Dogecoin, which I did very well on Dogecoin. Quite frankly, I just didn't put in enough money. Otherwise, I'd be on a yacht somewhere. Um, 
But when I tell you that SNEC has opportunity, it does. And again, it comes down to the team. Iagon clearly has a great team. Kopi, I know they have a great team. They're incredible. They're not selfish. They're building a project for gamers. I don't even game, but I, I like what they're building. I believe in what they're doing. Book. Book is doing a, an incredible job. Look at what they're doing. Snack for a meme token, it's funny, it works. But, like, they have an energy drink now. I'm going to show you their website. And they're reinvesting into building a massive following. Like, that's what they're doing. Look at this. People are buying this drink, man. Um, so even here, 12 pack, what is this, 63 bucks? It's a little egregious, but, I mean, you got to ship it and stuff. But, like, look what they did based on how, like, they did well. Um, the price went all the way to 100 uh, mil in market cap, about 5x where it is now. And the project did really well. And there was so much liquidity um, that they were able to launch their energy drink. So I like seeing that. I like seeing that. And the website looks good. Um, like, they're not just a meme token. This is a brand. This is a... This is a really big deal, guys. And as silly as it sounds, like the one thing I want you to understand is that when you go into investing in crypto, you want to think logically in the sectors, right? So we got decentralized storage. That's going to change the world, right? Owning your data, that's huge. Having privacy over it. That's where midnight sidechain comes in, etc. But you got Iagon, and then you got Kopi. Okay, you can own in-game digital assets. This is a big deal. We've gone over the reasons why. Snack is a meme token. However, let's find the meme uh, category here. So memes, I wanna give an example. And speculatively, in terms of market cap, Dogecoin is 10 billion in market cap, okay? Dogecoin doesn't even have an energy drink. Pepe, okay, let's say, let's say, <laughs> let's say Snack can get to where Pepe is. That is a massive, massive return. It, let's say that we could reach a billion in market cap and it's a top three. Look where Snack is. It's got a, it can get there. 20 mil, so 100 is five. Like this could easily 40, 50 X. And it has more utility. It's, it's, it's got, it's got a lot of potential as it definitely is. It's risen to the number one spot um, for meme tokens on Cardano. And in the, it's not even close. It's not even close. Um, now, yeah, like it doesn't mean that it's the best investment, but it does mean that you have to pay attention and understand that you know, if it goes to a penny, like, you don't need very much of it. Um, and quite frankly, if you look at the charts too, what, what do I even have in this wallet? I think I got, I think I got like a couple million snack. I had a lot more. I was kind of trading it. What do I have in this wallet? 600. This pumped up here, but this was in a bear market, guys. Guys, this thing went mad in a bear market when nobody was everybody was avoid this was during the ftx collapse basically this was after terra luna dropped this was after everything dropped 85 percent ftx and snack just goes to the moon like comment down below if you picked up some snack in that you and somebody commented on the channel they said snack's not going to 100 mil and i bet them like 100 data or whatever it was and I won that bet, so that was kind of cool. Um, shout out to you as well. You did pay up, so that was really cool. But this is a good opportunity in my eyes. I just, and it's a stupid meme token. So I just want to bring it up to your attention. Again, don't put a lot into it. I've got like a couple of percent in this. I, quite frankly, like the quickest way to lose everything is to try to make a quick buck. So you want to be in the top stuff. Um, if you are going to pick up snack which i'm not telling you to do what i do is i make sure it's less than three percent 
If you start getting into 10, 20, 30%, just understand what you're doing because the pullbacks are very difficult. It's difficult to time the exact bottoms, especially when you have fluctuations with liquidity within EDA while you're trading it against, you know, SNEC against EDA and, and it's fluctuating. So for example, let's say you're buying Tesla. Tesla is going up, but the US dollar is fluctuating 30%. It's very difficult. So we're playing a different game here with cryptocurrencies, but that's SNEC, okay? I love it. Those are the reasons why I don't need to talk about it anymore. Do your own research. I'm not telling you to buy these. Don't listen. Don't listen to uh, anybody telling you to just buy things because, you know, uh, it could do well. It can, but research it, right? You want to come up with your own ideas. So the next one, number five, this is going to be min. So min swap, yeah, it should come up as min, right? So the reason I like MinSwap is because it works. So this is a DEX, so decentralized exchange. Effectively, what you can do is you can connect your wallet to a, web, a website, um, their DAP, and then you can swap tokens. So we're gonna show you what that looks like here. MinSwap looks good. Um, it's recently fallen quite a bit, and I think their branding is great. So if we go to MinSwap.org, and we launch the app, we have a good UI. So the user interface is beautiful. Um, you can create an Omni wallet. And if you guys want, I'll show you at the end of the video, I have a free Cardano mini course. So check that out, it'll help you out a lot. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna connect your wallet, okay, in the top right. And there are a lot of different wallets you can connect. So let me disconnect and show you. If you connect here, it's got support for Ledger. You should have Trezor as well, or it's coming soon. Um, but you got NAMI, you got Eternal, you got Jiro, you got Yoroi, Lace. It's it's very intuitive. Um, and the fees are quite good as well. If you're going to do yield farming, I recommend BiFi. If you're going to do tr trading or swapping, this is a great DEX for that. So here you're going to go to trade. And let's say you want to pick up some tokens. So what you can do is you can select token, go to verified, and you're just going to type in min. Boom. So what is it? Um, 069 for that, that's what I have. So if you go to the one week, I think this is still down, yeah. This project has absolutely collapsed. So what I'm getting at with this video, um, with this token project in terms of an investment, look how down it's gone from the high. Uh, was it down 52% all time? Let's see if we have more accurate here. So it's at two cents again. Anyways, hard to judge. I don't have a lot. Like it's it's been doing good on the 14 day. Actually in the one year, it looks like, what is that? 41%. But all time it's down. It's down for sure, right? I gotta get used to this coin gecko. But anyways, this is the DEX in my opinion. There's that, there's Uniswap, there's BiFi, not Uniswap. So there's MinSwap, there's ViFi, which I like as well. Um, the other one I like is Sunday Swap, but I just don't know how it's going to work out. So anyways, long story short, put in 100 ADA, 35 bucks-ish, and you can get 1,600 min, and then confirm the swap. One thing to do is to check the slippage. I like 0.1% or 0.5 when I'm selling. When I'm buying 0.1, get the best um, range there. So basically what the slippage is for is when you're making the swap, if the price of the token comes out of, you know, if it slips beyond 0.1% in value, then your, your transaction's not gonna go through. So make sure it's not too high, don't do unlimited, but also, um, you know, it, it depends on what you're playing with, many different factors. So anyways, I hope you all enjoyed that. Comment down below, what are your top five Cardano projects? I guess you can call this the top five um, alts for ADA. And yeah, if you guys want to learn more, definitely check out the channel. So go to Crypto Moose, type in, for example, um, MinSwap. So I, I teach you guys how to swap tokens, right? How to remove liquidity, how to yield farm. Um, MinSwap decks, fantastic. I think I show you how to swap. Maybe I'll even do it this week. Who knows? Yeah, 
like I there are tons of videos, guys. You can learn so much. Um, check out the free Cardano mini course. So we have a link tree for you. We have all of our online courses. Uh, follow me on TikTok. The moose has been getting loose out there. And, you know, you can pick up an online course. Check out the free Cardano mini course. If you want to learn how to get started with ADA, just start here. So with that being said, everybody, the moose is loose. Also, pick up a hardware wallet. We have links for that. Save you up to 25% because I want to make sure you're protected. So remember... When you buy some crypto, you gotta stay safe. Cheers.